Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Today I wanted to talk about noise cancellation. Uh, I have a great deal of noise that's, I believe, coming from some sort of electrical device over in my neighbor's uh, yard or in their house. And uh, due to COVID-19, I'm not able to go over there and investigate uh, and help them eliminate that noise with toroids or uh, other ferrite cores or other solutions. Um, therefore, I kind of have to solve it over on my side. Uh, now, obviously, the steps before you go at it from an antenna noise cancellation level is to verify that it's not something in your house or something coming in through the power line, things like that. Make sure it's actually something you can eliminate with the antenna. Uh, and uh, that would be step one. Um, anyway, with that, we're going to analyze the MFJ1026. Uh, I happen to be rather happy with this solution for what I'm dealing with. It also helped a great deal with uh, washing machine noise that I had. But remember, your personal mileage may vary. Uh, oh, by the way, if you like these videos, why don't you click on the subscribe button for me? Uh, that way you'll get notices when I come out with new videos. And of course, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. All right? Anyway, with that, no further ado. Let's get started. Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG, and today we're going to take a look at the MFJ Deluxe Noise Cancelling Signal Enhancer. Uh, the model here is the MFJ-1026. Um, I bought this noise cancelling device because I've been getting a lot of noise on 40 meters. I believe it's a device that my neighbor may have in play here, but I'm not sure. Um, I have verified, you know, through the standard diagnostic methods, I've shut power off, I've disconnected antennas, all sorts of stuff like that. And the noise, of course, still exists. Uh, and it is coming in through the antenna, so we know that. Anyway, so this little device is fairly easy to set up, but it's kind of a uh, touchy-feely sort of thing. So let's go ahead and we'll walk through the main adjustments on this. I'm going to go over here to my main antenna gain and I'm going to crank it all the way up to 10. I'm going to take my phase, I'm going to move it to 10 also, um, and I had this set to invert the phase. Uh, that tends to work better on this particular noise factor. Over here on my auxiliary antenna, I am going to turn that all the way down. My TR delay, which is uh, the switch, because if you transmit with this hooked up, you want to make sure that it shuts itself off when you key the radio. And this is the delay on how long it takes to recover. Um, if you're doing uh, oh, uh, CW, you want to turn that delay way up because you don't want it to uh, start, you know, cutting in and out while you're trying to do CW. All right, so with that, let's go ahead now with our main settings all set up for uh, that. We're going to hit the power button. And of course, our expectation is we're not going to see anything. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to note our uh, S level, which is, wow, like five plus or plus five. Let's Go ahead and we'll turn off our main antenna and then we're going to go to our auxiliary antenna and we're going to turn it up until it hits the range that, there we go, right about where it was. Now I'm going to add back the main antenna to the point where my power on the main antenna is just about the same. Uh, I'm going to put it right about right about there at four. Now, here's the magic. We're going to adjust our phase. And I'm going to come down from 10 watching the S meter. Okay, and I want to adjust it where it drops the most. Now, let's go over to auxiliary. Oh, look at that. All right, there we go. We're starting to get our noise down. I want to just adjust this for the lowest noise. 
Now, our main antenna, we can adjust as well. Oh, look at that. Okay. Definitely a lower noise floor. And look, we're starting to see signals again. Ain't that something? Now, this is not perfect by any means. All we're doing is taking the top layer of noise off. But if you look, look at the results that we're getting, right? There are signals that are just completely being washed out by this noise. With our noise reduction on, we now can see those signals again. We're now receiving those signals in a, in a manner which is more fitting. Um, this little item, I forget how much it costs, but you can uh, certainly purchase it through any of your known radio resellers. And this has been kind of a godsend to me, especially since it's really hard to get with my neighbor to help him figure out what's causing this noise because of the COVID thing. Anyway, with that, I hope you enjoyed this. This is Stu, AG6AG, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. You know, it's amazing how well that actually works. Um, you know, like I said before, your mileage may vary, but this has really helped me out, and I wanted to share it. Uh, the MFJ1026 is available uh, from RNL or HRO or uh, Gigaparts. Uh, they're all priced competitively with a street price. You know, you can even order this thing directly from MFJ if nobody has it in stock. Um, now, I'm using an external antenna with this, so remember, you would have to have two HF antennas to make this work. Um, it does come with a little built-in antenna that goes right in the top of it. Uh, I basically bypassed that and took it out because it just it wasn't working as well that way. Anyway, with that... Hey, do me a favor. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And any questions or comments, make them down below. I try to answer all the questions. So with that, 73 from Stu, AG6AG. And you know what? I hope to hear you on the air.